I always wanted to build a multiplayer game for iOS using Swift natively for iOS, but also in the backend using WebSockets for live data exchange. And I finally pulled the trigger. I had this in my mind for years to come, but I've never really started doing it. And now I started and I wanted to share where I'm currently currently at. Now I am approaching everything very MVP. This is what I like to do. MVP meaning minimal viable product, which means basically how much can you strip down from an idea while still maintaining the idea and a function. So for a game, for this game, for example, let me show you how it looks like. Oh, I have to, do I start? I think I did start the backend, yeah. You can see I have two iPhone simulators and the game, it's there. You, you're thrown into the game scene right away. But usually games have uh, a menu and they have a game over screen and some stats, you know, what's going on. This game doesn't have any of that. And that's on purpose because does it need the menu for the game to work? No, you can just be thrown into the game right away and start playing. And yeah, once you die, obviously I need some kind of loop. So that's that's gonna come. Uh, that will break the game loop, but you get the idea, right? So it's very MVP. Um, and I just recently overcame the challenge to uh, sync player movement and uh, shooting bullets while um, using WebSockets in the backend and Swift and Vapor as a, fr as a framework, in case I haven't mentioned that. So let me show you how this looks like. So you are this person, right? So you can walk right and left. And then it's mirrors as well, right? Because this is from us, from our perspective, this is going, uh, it's going left right now, right? But we're going right. So if you, you, you get the idea, right? So, um, so I can go left, I can shoot. Uh, and if I shoot this guy, which is here, which, which are you right now, right? You cannot move. Uh, well, I can move for you, but I can shoot you and I, ah, yep, I died. Well, you died. Uh, and so that's, that's literally the game right now at the current state, um, where I have game controls on the screen. I have a field that you can walk on. Also, as you notice, you can only walk left and right. That's also on purpose, just to minimize um, what I need to implement, the complexity to get it done. And so what I also realized is there is not many resources on SpriteKit, WebSockets, or like game development using Swift for iOS. Well, obviously. Um, and so I'm going to create a course. I'm going to, after I've, I'm done, with this game, I'm going to create a course explaining and teaching exactly how to build this game step by step, purely in Swift, using Xcode, Swift, uh, and WebSockets and Vapor for the backend. And I'll I'll link it the I'm I'm going to put the link in the description where you can sign up if you are interested in it, uh, so you get notified as soon as this course is available. And I'll start this course um, very soon because. I'm at a stage right now where the hard part is done. So all it needs is just a game menu and end screen and some animations, right? So I want to add like walking animations, which is also very straightforward, but it's just sweat. It's just, there is no challenge really in it. Um, and so I guess you can call this my first game dev log for this game. Okay, so that's the current state. This is implemented. I can show you some code. I think that's going to be interesting too. I can show you some code. This is uh, the front end right now. It's um, I'm firing basically whenever I, I'm I'm sending per frame uh, the information of the current hero. I'm just printing it as well. Looks cool, but also gives gives me an idea whether or not I'm sending actually information. And so the game scene, I'm trying to keep the game scene very slim, as you can see, right? There's just 200 lines of code <clears throat> and I'm trying to abstract away um, and uh, the nodes and make them agnostic to one another. So for example, the bullet node does not need to know about the hero shooting the bullet. The hero doesn't need to know about the bullet. So for example, when the bullet collides with something, like the bullet collides with the hero, right? Um, what I did is, and I wanna show you what I did so let's see the collision happens, right? Um, so the game scene is responsible for noticing collisions. But as soon as we uh, grab the two nodes that collided, collided to uh, one another, I'm having a handle function like handle node A colliding with B, 
and handle node B colliding with A, right? Uh, calling the same function, but like first A with B and then B with A. And then this one just casts uh, the nodes into a collidable uh, type, which, I, which is just a simple protocol, right? And then it just says, hey, node one did collide with node two. And then in this case, node one is node A with B. And then in the second case, uh, node one is node B, node A. With that, I'm handling both parts of the collision. And then they can decide what they want to do with themselves colliding with the, with the other nodes. So now, if I go into, for example, a player node, you see that it implements the protocol did collide and the hero node says, okay, I, colli uh, I co did collide with the node. And if the node is a bullet node, I want to handle this bullet hit and just say, I'm di I, I died, right? I lost a life, I died. Uh, I can implement more cases if there's more nodes that I want to handle. Like for example, what if, what if I collide with um, the wall? What if I collide with something on the ground, right? I can add, hey, is, um, is the node that is passed in here cast it into a different um, class that I implemented, for example, the wall, um, and then handle it for the hero. Now, I'm not saying, oh, I collided with the bullet node here. Now I, d I'm, I died and do something with the bullet node. I don't care about the bullet node. I'm the hero. I'm just caring about myself, what happened to myself. Now, again, as I said earlier, two nodes are colliding with one another and they're both handling their own um, fate. And so the player node handled their own fate like, okay, this is node A, collided with node B. Um, node A was hero node. So it's gonna say, I, I'm dead. And now node B is gonna be the bullet node. And this one says basically, oh, if I collide with a hero node, I wanna be removed from the parent. I wanna disappear, right? Because we want bullets to, bullets to disappear when they collide with a hero node. Oh, but also if the, if the other node was the game scene, Right, which because I draw, I drew a wall around the game scene. If I collide against the game scene's wall, which is basically up here, I wanna, I want to remove myself from a parent as well. So you can see down here the node count. As I shoot, I'm adding like seven nodes or something, and then they are removed from the parent as well, keeping um, the game efficient. And so the 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 bullet again is handling them himself. And so with that, I'm abstracting away of a lot of logic and handling from the game scene, keeping it slim and really just, I don't need to add anything else to here. Everything is just abstracted away and handled. So I'm just saying, oh, you know what? Whenever there's node collisions, um, this is, I'm, I'm gonna implement, for example, what if I implement some kind of uh, goodies on the floor that are popping up that you can pick up, right? So it's gonna be, I don't know, I'm gonna call it some, um, um, power up. Yeah, I'm gonna implement a class called power, power up, which inherits from uh, SK Sprite node, for, for example, and then um, that way, and I'll, I'll come forward to collidable. I won't have to change anything here because as soon as someone collides with it, this is gonna be called and handled, and then I can handle the um, power up um, collision in the power up class and just, you know, implement this this one and then say, oh, did I collide with a hero? Remove me from a parent tree. And then in the hero, I can say, oh, did I collide with a power up? I want to do this uh, A and B, right? What kind of power up was it, you know? Did I collide with power up? Great, what power up was it? Um, did I have more bullets? Did I have, do I have more life? And I can handle myself. And so, yeah, that's the current state. Looking forward to hear what you think of that and whether you, you would be interested in a course. I'll link um, the link to the course in the description and I'll see you next time.